Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9. Welcome back to Let's Play Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Let's continue looking around the Elok field and maybe we can find... That's the exit, isn't it? Wow! Went in a complete circle! Yes! <laughs> okay, since we're here, might as well heal up. Hi. Okay. Try this again. Back into the field. <laughs> Let's see, where was I going to... to journey? Here. Hi. Oh, there's the puffy bug. Or the fluffy bug that we need. Thunder bomb. Flame circle. Or you know what? Just in case. Then maybe we do get to attack it. Flame circle. Attack. And ice mace. Sure. And it runs. <laughs> I feel like I'm fighting metal slimes all over again. Metal slimes from the Dragon Check Warrior slash Dragon Quest series. That was a good thunder bomb. Still hit them all. I know I've not played any of those games on my channel yet. But they're, they're, they're good RPGs. They're fun. By the power of Athena. But enough of that. It's Lunar. <laughs> and the one bug we need continually is escaping us. See, Nash fell asleep. Swing, swing, swing. Okay, I was afraid I was hitting Nash there. <laughs> I was hoping they'd hit Kyle, because Kyle can at least get some of the HP back. Wearing the healing wing healing ring. Okay, don't think we've been up here. Let's look. Let's look here. There's one. We'll just fight them all! <laughs> Thunder bomb. Nope. Flame circle. Swing. Ice mace. Check this out. That doesn't kill that one. That's a shame. I need to have Jessica ice mace the one Alex is gonna hit. Alex seems to be more have more agility than Kyle. Sleeping powder that puts Alex to sleep. By the power of Athena. Either way, she's gonna get two. Get those two over there. Oh, I killed one. Good job, Mia. Yeah, ice cane. Ice cane swing. Ice mace. The cow should go up and kill this one. Yep. And that one as well. Ah, not quite. No sleeping powder, that's good, or that hit would have hurt a lot more. Okay, everybody swing. And that should do it. Huh. Alright, a free healing nut. We'll just use that. Jessica gains a level, 5 HP, 4 MP, 1 attack, 2 defense, 1 agility, 3 wisdom, 2 magic endurance. Okay, let's heal up the party and then... 
continue to look around. Uh, that'll do. We'll just give Alex an herb and get attacked by flies. These are some of the most dangerous flies I have seen. What kind of flies are these? Oh, fly devil, but... <laughs> Ice King. Check this out. Thunderbomb. It'd be nice if the Thunderbomb flat out killed the flies. That would just be fantastic. Oh, good dodge, Kyle! Nice! <laughs> huh. I think I may have noticed something. I think if the flies are spinning around instead of just hovering, they're gonna use Killer Dish. Here's another fly. So, n so those two in the back will use Killer Dish. You know, let's... See, ice cane, swing at the back, ice mace the back. Check this out! Let's see. See if I'm right. See if this fly killer dishes or not. No, it just swung. Huh! I don't know why I just noticed that. I wonder if if there were uh, signs in from the other enemies now. Maybe so, and I just never never noticed that. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's good to know. Hopefully, that'll help all of you out there. If you didn't know that already. That's a very small sample size. I could still be wrong on that, but. I don't know, it would make sense why some of the flies spin around and some of them just, 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 uh, like, hover there. Uh, flame circle. Swing and... Ice mace? Check this out! Let's see, that should kill one. Now just just gonna ice mace the closest one. Oh crit! Ah, still didn't kill. That would have been great though. The flame circle circle should finish that one off. So we only have to get hit twice. And Alex takes the blows pretty well. All right. Now we'll just use the. Ice weapons, uh, by the way, in case you were wondering, Alex's weapon cannot be used this way. Even though it's an ice weapon, just the ice canes and ice mace. A lot of EXP and silver. Okay, now we've actually been that way. Uh, kind of running out of herbs, which is a shame. Because this will just bounce us across. We've seen that before. But well, let's go back. Let's hmm. let's check the left area. There's that treasure chest. What's through here? Oh, there's another one of these guys. Oh, there it is again. Swing. Thunderbomb. Flame circle. Swing. Ice piece. And it runs. <laughs> Knowing my luck, last episode in this episode, there's probably something I'm missing. By the power of Athena. Flame circle. Thunderbomb. Get rid of one. 
Ice Mace, uh, second one? Hopefully? No. That knocks Nash out. Ah, Alex, you were pretty slow on that one. Okay. Everybody attack. Jeez. That should kill you, yeah. And you, you can't have too much HP left. Oh wow, apparently I was wrong on that. Well, at least they both sleep powdered and missed. Oh, good job, Mia. One more. Oh, that must be the one that didn't get hit by any spells. <laughs> Alright. Nash gained a level. 4 HP, 4 MP, 2 attack, 2 defense, 1 agility, 1 wisdom, 2 magic endurance. And plus 1 range. Mia also gains a level. 4 HP, 6 MP. One attack, two defense, one agility, two wisdom, one magic endurance. Continuing with her trend, more MP than HP. She's also learned Flame Bomb. At level 24. Flame Bomb is the single target version of, of the fire. Throw Fireball. One enemy, does it costs 13 MP. Same thing between Flame Circle and Ice Wall. How uh, Flame Circle is cheaper, but Ice Wall does more damage. In this case, Ice Lance is cheaper, but Flame Bomb will do more damage. And we'll have Mia cast it and see just how much damage she can get out of it. I find it really interesting that they did the spells that way. How her initial spells are cheaper but do less damage than the one she learns. No matter, you know, which element, it's the opposite element of the one she has, cost more, but do more damage. Just a, a very interesting take on that. Okay. What's up here? Carrot. Another one of these guys. Ah, oh, and treasure chest. Hi! Maybe if I don't target it. It'll stick around. I don't know. I'm grasping at straws here. We're gonna flame bomb to show it off. Ice space. Yeah, it runs anyway. I figured it's just high agility. Oh well, sleeping powder. Oh, Kyle's asleep. By the power of Athena. Flame bomb. 109 damage. As you can see, it's a highly damaging single target spell. Uh, flame bomb is nice when you want to bombard something, and it's not. It doesn't have defense against fire. And plus, I really like the animation. It just, you know, causes the fireball, and then it makes fireballs rain down on the enemy. That's, <laughs> that's cool. Instead of just summoning a fireball and throwing it. No, no, Mia's too cool for that. You know, you gotta really make it look awesome. Ice Cane. Maybe we can kill one of these before we start taking damage. Thirty one. I'm gonna hit Alex. Alright. By the power of Athena! Flame circle! And although it is expensive. Uh, flame Bomb is probably what you're going to use against bosses. If me is not, you know, using anything else, and you just want to hit a single target, that's your... that That's going to be the spell.
because as you saw it did quite a bit of damage oh hi yeah I think you do have to beat all of those enemies here because it's just gonna keep hiding in in with the other bugs until there's no more oh no it got away Heh. don't worry no I know how to handle feisty little things a mere critter uh, is, is, is that a reference to somebody else in the party there? Nope. Nowhere else for you to run. Sorry. <laughs> we got it cornered. Fluffy bug. Uh, it's got the, <laughs> the, the... The face is funny. Like, big bunch of guys. No, finally got caught. Hmm. By the way, Kyle, what was that remark about knowing how to handle... Feisty things. <laughs> Chess. I don't know what that word means. Uh huh. Remind me to define it for you the next time you try to make the moves on me. Ouch. Uh, not that I'm admitting to being feisty or anything. <laughs> yeah, should have uh thought that one through before you said anything, Kyle. Oh no, there was one left. Huh. Maybe you just have to fight this one up here in the corner. That way you can catch it. Maybe, okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take a guess that's it. So you could probably avoid all the other fights. But, oh, there's a lot of HP. Or, er, it's HP. Blah. There's a lot of EXP to be had in this place. So let's go ahead and walk out. How's everybody's level doing? They're all 24 now. I think that'll that'll do. We'll just we'll just get out of here. I think we've had a well. I say that, and then we get to another fight. <laughs> I think the party's gotten quite a few levels in here, so we'll just leave. Uh, Thunder bomb, blizzard. Kind of feel like hitting all of them. And ice mace. Check this out. Thunderbomb. Now, unfortunately, Blizzard isn't going to do a ton of damage. Oh, yeah, I forgot how easy these guys were to kill compared. <laughs> Whoops. I still get three. Summon elemental power. Blizzard. Fifty-two to all. That's actually not bad. <laughs> All right, let's finish these guys off. Is that one ice mace? There we go. See, six hundred and twenty-five exp. Yo, three more of those fights, and Alex probably levels. Okay, four more of those fights, and Alex will level. So again, if you want some levels, this is a good spot for it. Now the fun part, just finding the way out of here. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard, considering found it once already, that flight's going to get, yep. That's fine. Okay, more fly experimentation. Swing. Thunder bomb. Blizzard. And you two defend. Check this out. Let's test this out. So the ones that are spinning around should use killer dish. The other ones should attack regularly. Let's see. Killer dish. Killer dish. And you'll swing. Yep. Okay. There we go. Elemental power. So that's really good to know. Make sure to keep that in mind. And, and keep that... Keep on the lookout if you decide to pick up this game and play it, which I do recommend. 
for with the other flies, the earlier flies. Because they probably did it too, and I just never noticed. Uh, let's see. Yeah, calm litany. There we go. Okay. I could have swore there was a boss, a boss in that area. That's why I was really conserving uh, MP. So apparently, there's not. Feel free to to really go all out with Alex and Kyle to make some of the battles easier. And if you need to, you can always come back and heal. There you go. The more you know. All right. Now that we have the fluffy bug, though, we'll go ahead and save. Whew, that place took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. And, give him his bug. You brought the fluffy bug, and just in time, the balloon is complete. If you would be so kind. Here you go. just talking when you're out oh. the fluffy bug has been installed but according to my calculations the boon the balloon will be completely inflated until tomorrow morning why don't you spend the night here it's not exactly luxurious but at least it's free don't worry bud compared to some of the places I've slept your house is a luxury suite uh, like that jail in the in your hideout I think we could all use some rest Shira, we'd be glad to stay here tonight. Yeah, I agree with that. <sighs> Next morning. Good morning, everyone. The balloon should be just about inflated. And you'll be ready to travel to the volcano and the frontier. Huh, sounds good. Um, that, um... Huh. Yeah, not for nothing, but that doesn't look inflated. Just saying. <laughs> what happened? I double and triple checked my calculations. This balloon should be boost bursting at the seams by now. Uh, let me rephrase that. Alex, how are we ever going to reach the Red Dragon? Uh, that's a great question, no? Excellent! The, inf the inflation is complete. That was very sudden, <laughs> I must say. Um, well, we don't got too much of a choice, alright? I won't believe you can fly through the air without wings until I see it, Alex. You all ready for takeoff? Make sure you're prepared. I think that, that should go without saying, but I'll say it. Make sure you're prepared. You have your items, you have what you need. We're ready. All aboard, everyone. Plenty of room for five people and one animal. <laughs> I hope the red dragon isn't too intimidated by my good looks. Hmm. This doesn't look very different from steering a ship, so I'll take the controls. Yeah, it sounds like a good I good idea. We'll have just at at the wheel. Hmm. It's such a strange feeling to try to fly to fly without using magic. <laughs> Isn't this great fun, Nash? Uh, sure, fun, whatever you say. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, looks like it's working. Ha! I did it. I did it! Uh, great job, Invent uh, Venture Guy. As it was uh, Shira, I believe. Fantastic job! All right. There's some volcanoes there. I said we'll just land in here.
All right. I think we made it. Huh. It's not hot at all inside this volcano, Alex. What's going on? Hmm. Maybe the volcanic, volcanic activity is an illusion of magic. Oh, but what a powerful illusion. <laughs> it's the power, of the power of the red dragon, of course. Athena's guardians are only slightly less powerful than the goddess herself. Okay, so that's why we're not completely burning up. Apparently, this is all just a very powerful illusion made by the red dragon. To make an entire volcano... To make it look like a volcano, but not actually have any heat inside is... Very powerful illusion indeed. So, we're gonna go look for the red dragon. Next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, had a lot of fun, got some laughs. I'm Cinder 9 Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.